know what, do you know what kuffar means? Disbelievers. Well, they, are they? Are they? Are, do they peoples. have the right Quran? They do not have the right Quran. So they have. Oh, my wow. belief, in my Boom. belief, they do not have the right Quran. The Quran, it cannot be altered. If people find one little mistake, it could be the smallest thing, whether a kisra or a fatha or even just a letter missing. People who have memorized the Quran, this stuff cannot be altered. It was. People though. will notice it. Are you sure? Wait, so, you, just really quick. Let, let, before, before we do that, let me just let's let's get a foundation, and I'm gonna let you yeah. cook, Rob. Yeah. So, are you saying that if there was a change in a letter, a change in a word, a word missing or a word not missing, or a word added that's not somewhere else, or a completely different word, you're saying that that means it's alteration and cannot be trusted? Yes. In All the right, Quran. Gotcha. Get in the Quran. All right. Go ahead and cook, Rob. Mm -hmm. Chapter 57, Ayah 24 of the Quran. If we compare the Qira'at, look, Hafs version on top. This is your Quran, the most popular one. Hafs an Asim. Chapter 57, Ayah 24. This one says, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْغَنِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ If we go to a different version of the Quran, Qalun and Warsh version. Warsh is in Morocco. Qalun is in Libya, which they there use in these countries. Qalun an nafa wa warsh an nafa, warsh an nafa. Same ayah. Look, there is a word missing. The word huwa, complete word. The word huwa is missing. What are we going to do now? You said not one letter can be removed or changed. Right, and it's wrong. Muslims did. But first of all, first of all, hold up, hold up, hold up. Qiraat. Do you know what that means? No. Uh. It's, it's, a, it's a difference in recitation difference in recitation but the words are missing then that is wrong so which, the quran which, guys which, got corrupted is the wrong. actual exactly. quran if you go into the book the book don't look at online don't look at none of that if you go to an actual book actual that book. was written actual book god logic <coughs> yeah. an actual book you know something you can physically hold in your hands yeah that cannot be changed those are the words of allah so, oh, so, which, so which, well, so which can, one? People removed entire words. Yeah. From the Quran. So, in, in the Hafs book, in the Hafs Quran, if you open the Hafs book, it has the word Hua. If you work right. open the Kalun or the Wash, it doesn't have the word Hua. Then that so, is wrong. So, which it's wait, wrong. which one? Which one is wrong? Do your research to <laughs> understand which is wrong and which isn't. You have to do your research. I have a, most people it's been altered, who have a Quran in their house. Usually that Quran like has lasted with them for years. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. same with the ones who have the ones who doesn't have the word Hua. So same with the ones who no, have the word Hua. Then it's they've wrong. had their, they've had their Qurans this entire time. How can either one of them say which one is, here's the point. The point is, is that there's an alteration. There's been a change. And so now, according to you, your criteria, you have to throw the Quran away. No. Oh, so I believe in it 100%. I know you do. These are the words of God. Juju, all I'm showing, all we're doing is we're showing you that your own standard. Okay, okay, cut. okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So let's say, let's say one word was removed from the Quran. How many words have been removed from the Bible? Wait, How many wait, wait, wait. Words so wait, wait, wait. You agree that the word is removed no, by Muslim No, I don't agree with it. Okay, so, so we can't move yeah. on then. <laughs> I don't know where you brought that up from. This is the called the Warsh version. If you literally go to I don't know where you store, brought up that. I don't know if you go, you have you ever been in Morocco? Have you ever been in Morocco? No, I've never been to Morocco. <laughs> if, you, if you go with your Quran in your house today, and you'll probably have the Hafs ver version in the, of the Quran today. If you open chapter 57, I 24, you'll find between Allah and the Ghani, the word Hua. Okay. But if you would, if you would take in your Quran with you to Morocco, if they found you carrying a Hafs Quran with you in your hands and you're going to take a trip, to Morocco, if they catch you, if you're lucky, they might throw you in jail in Morocco. And if you're unlucky, they might even unalive you if they find with you the house version. That's how much they hate your house version. They use the worst version. Other countries, let's say in uh, North East uh, 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 Africa, for example, Libya, they use the Qalun version. So the, both the Qalun version 
in countries like Libya or Morocco, the worst version, they contradict the Hafs version and entire words are missing. The word huwa is missing here. So which Quran is the word of God? Which Quran is on the heavenly tablet of Allah in heaven? This one or this one? Again, that is something that needs research. But I probably go for the Hafs version. Listen, I would most likely go for the Hafs version. Why? Uh, because okay. First, choice, all, first of all, let me start with this: saying "hua" and doesn't, and you not saying "hua" in a sentence, it mm. doesn't really change the meaning of the sentence, mm. right? Doesn't? No. Doesn't okay. fully change the meaning of a sentence. It's okay. What if I can show you? Person. What if I can show That's you? That's one, two. No, no, two. No, just a second. What if we can show you that it does change? Oh my god! What are we oh going to do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Can I finish? Oh, I don't want to hear finish? this, guys. Please, thank you, thank it. you. Oh my god! Thank oh my you. God. Okay, great. Okay. We don't want to hear That's it, one, right? two. Usually in the Quran. Things like this, like small things like hua and things like mm. that, that's usually mentioned in, in the original. Quran, I have a surprise. So I would probably go for that. Just a second, you said it doesn't change the meaning. Here is another example of an area. 4319. 4319. Look. Hum the slaves of Allah, Ar Rahman. Mm -hmm. The slaves of, right? Mm -hmm. The same Qalun and Warsh who contradict the Hafs in the same ayah 4319, it says, mm -hmm. عند With mm -hmm. Allah. With mm -hmm. Allah. Uh -huh. Here it says the slaves of Allah. Here it says the, pe the, the people who are with Allah, let's say in heaven or whatever. So is it the slaves of Allah? It's the slaves of Allah. Because or we are the slaves of Allah. Allah, we are not slaves with Allah. We are the slaves of Allah. Okay, mm. so you're, you're That's going something to we are taught from when we are children. So this is the right Quran. These Qurans are for garbage, right? No. Astaghfirullah, I think. You never okay, which one? I, but, okay, so which but one? It is which just one something that I wouldn't believe in. Just a second, sister. Which one of the three Qiraat is on the heavenly tablets? The Hafs version? The Qalun or Warsh? What do you mean on the... Well, well both cannot be... Uh, all three cannot be correct. This one says the, the slaves of Rahman, the slaves of Allah, and this one says with Allah. Inda versus ibadu. Inda versus ibadu. With versus slaves of. Which one is the, the real? Hafs version. It said we. I literally just said what I. Oh my God! It's like you guys don't listen. Oh my Allah. Same. Oh we my Allah. are the Which slaves the real of Quran? Allah. All right, we are the slaves of Allah. That is mm. what I believe. So, what are we going so to do with these? For that, I would go. But logic, I want to know from her what we should do with these qiraat on underneath. Qiraat, first of all, qiraat, they are the way people read them. Uh -huh. It is just recently. You said not one letter is changed. Moments no, not ago, one letter has changed. You said if not one letter is changed. Not been, one word is missing. If it has been corrupted, if it has been corrupted, it is wrong. It has been corrupted, guys. <laughs> it's wrong. Did you hear? I want to clip this. I want you to clip this, God Logic, please. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, wow. so, so what we got here is we got this. We got earlier that if there was any alteration, any change in a word and a letter, a word missing or a word added, it's a corruption and cannot be trusted. So we just saw that the Quran has words missing and added and entire words change that changes the context, whether it's slave of Allah or the people with Allah. She says that one of them is wrong. So that means that the Quran has been corrupted and can one of those corruptions me? is wrong. Correct. Hold up. Hold up. Can you all hear me? I can hear you now. Is that correct? Okay. That one of those corruptions is wrong. Qira'at is the way it has been recited. If we saw a wording text. was changed, if a wording was changed, if a kasra was changed, if anything like that is changed, it should not be read. It should not be followed. If people do follow it, wow. then they mm. are following the wrong path. Beautiful. So the Moroccans Allah knows what is in our hearts. The Moroccans Allah and the Libyans are following the wrong path. 
I'll say. These Sunni Muslims, these Sunni Muslims in Morocco and these Sunni Muslims in Libya are kuffar. They follow the wrong Quran. Not the kuffar. Un- the hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what? Do you know what kuffar means? Disbelievers. Well, they are they? Are they, are they do people. they have the right Quran? They do not have the right Quran. So they oh. are kuffar. In my belief, they do not have the right Quran, but, but if they choose to read it, so mm-hmm. long they believe the same mm-hmm. things that I believe. Believe that there's ah, one God. Hold up. Interesting. Believe that there's one God who is Allah mm-hmm. uh-huh. and his prophet is Muhammad. Uh-huh. And they read the Quran. When they read it, they read it correctly uh-huh. or they understand it correctly. Let me put it like that. They understand okay. it correctly. Uh-huh. Then they are not disbelievers. Okay, Allah let, right. knows what Allah Allah Beautiful. is the best of judge. Allah He Beautiful. judges them uh-huh. however however He and wants to judge them. So I have to no be, right to judge them. So just so just to be clear, they can they are, they're reading the wrong Quran, but because of its textual differences, however, if they have the correct core values and core beliefs then they're still believers and their religion is not corrupted uh, if they wow. have the core beliefs and core values of Islam, correct? That they get, yes, that they because again, Qara'at, you cannot base this off Qara'at. Qara'at are, tra- are sorry, not translations. They are, re- they are different recitations of the Not Quran. just recitations, but these are texts of the Quran that are different in wording. So they are reading when and reciting you- the wrong Quran, according to you. No, but it's it okay is not the as long, oh That's what you said. Don't change it. So, but it's okay uh, as long. Hold on. <laughs> as long as, as long as, even though they're reading and reciting the wrong Quran, that they get the true essence of Islam from these wrong Qurans, and they have the true values of Islam and the core beliefs of Islam, even from these wrong Qurans, then they're still in the truth, and their religion is unaffected. You know beautiful. what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You're a hundred percent right. I am not going to argue so with you fall. because obviously, obviously, the, you are uh, just hard headed and you don't like to listen. So, this and all that is gold. I, so therefore, I cannot deal with people like you. No, it's okay, Juju. So therefore, because I literally explained it a million it's, it's fucking it's okay. times. It's, it's, it's okay. Sister. And y'all just. So, oh, it's okay. It's so therefore, let me, let, me, let me just lend this. Like let me let me just lend this because this is important. So therefore, as you brought up earlier. If there are textual variants or textual differences in certain Bibles or translations of the Bible, as long as that Christian can get the true values and core understanding of Christianity that the Bible teaches and gives of of Christianity. Let me finish, please, and I'll let you go. Go ahead. As long as they can get the core values and the core teachings and the core beliefs of Christianity, even though they're reading a, a, a Bible with textual variants, their religion is still unaffected and is still true and preserved because the core values and the core teachings are there aside from the little textual variants that there that that may be there so it's un uncor- the religion is uncorrupted even though there may be textual variants and 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 differences and so on and so forth thank you so much